Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Those of you that saw the video for Loyang um, would know that I mentioned another boat, which is the Anshan. Now the Anshan is available for the doubloonies in the tech tree for the Panasia. Now I didn't think it was at the time I did the video, I might be wrong. Uh, for the low yang, but uh, yeah, and Shan. So I thought we'd have a look at that. Okay, the and Shan. Let's let's just take a look at this, shall we? Let's see the profile. Yeah. Um, if we just have a quick look, I believe it's this one. The Nevney. See the profile. Hmm. Okay. Uh, little history lesson time here. The Loyang uh, was a United States boat given to the Republic of China and the Anshan was a Project 7, so Nevni class and destroyer given to the People's Republic of China. Communist? Not communist. Yeah, Republic of China, People's Republic of China. So the Republic of China, you might know better as Taiwan. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Chinese aren't very happy about uh, the Republic of China. Um, they are communist and the Republic of China isn't. So... Yes, there's that. Anyway, sort of moving on, moving on. It explains the difference as to one being Soviet and one being American. Hmm. So, the Anshan uh, is a tier 6 destroyer. Yeah, whilst the Nevni is tier 5. So, 13,900 oh, 13, uh, hit points for the Nevni, 14,400 for the Anshan. So, you do get a little bit of an improvement there. Artillery, you'll see we have four times single barreled 130mm guns, which fire out to 11.9 kilometers, whereas on the Nevni you get exactly the same gun. Now you see there you've got a reload of 5 seconds, uh, 1600 and 2500 HE and AP damage and an 8% chance of fire on this 1600, 2500 4.5 rounds per second slower firing and a 7% chance of fire. So the guns on this are not quite as good as the tier 5 version of this boat. Okay. What about the torpedoes? 60 knots, 8 kilometers, two triple mounted uh, center line tubes there. Um, yeah, they do pretty good damage. 14,400 if you get a nice hit. What about the, uh, the Nevni? Now we know the range is going to be worse, definitely. But they're two center line mounted triple launch torpedoes 65 knots four kilometers same damage interesting 70 second reload and on the own chan 79 seconds but you can fire them twice as far so that's some good i suppose and yeah well it's a destroyer um, it's got reasonable anti-air for a destroyer actually, 21. Uh, the Nevni is not quite as good at 14, but um, yeah, you know, we can't complain really. Maneuverability, 38 knots, 610 meter turning circle and 4.4 rudder shift. 38 knots, 610, 4.4, so exactly the same in maneuverability and concealment. 7 kilometers, 3.6 by air as compared to 6.8, 3.6. 
Hmm, okay. Now, being a tier 6 boat, you don't get the opportunity to put on the uh, concealment module, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and you need to bear in mind that you do have the camouflage on. So, yeah. All in all, it's not adding up to look particularly impressive, is it? To be perfectly frank, for a tier 6 destroyer. But I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's take it into a battle. And we'll see how the Anshan does. Now we do have reasonable guns. You know, it's not really a gunboat in the truest sense of the word. But uh, they're reasonable. And we've got that 8 kilometer torpedo range. So, yeah, 7 kilometer spotting, 8 kilometer torps. Now, they've got a Matsuki and a Fubuki. Yeah. Mm. Concealment's about the same. Um, Fubuki does have better torps. And the Matsuki is uh, a bit more stealthy than we are. Hmm. Okay. The Farragut, though, you know, we, we haven't got to worry too much about the Farragut. Um, it's a gunboat, but uh, it's slightly less stealthy than us. Uh, so it's a tier 8 battle, so 6, 7, 8. So we'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on. I have mixed feelings about this boat. You have to play it kind of as a second lion destroyer. You can't really play it as a first line destroyer. Um, as far as you know, battleships and cruisers, cruisers go. You see them plenty before they see you. Um, so you haven't really got too much to worry about when it comes to battleships and cruisers. And we're in the game, right? And it started us right at the front. Thanks, game. Okay. Um, let's let's not go storming off they're going for A and B by the look of things uh, I'd like to go for B because I can hide behind that island but uh, looks like the Fubuki's going that way so okay we'll we'll YOLO it and we'll go over here We'll go over here, and we'll see how we get on. Um, I'm not envisioning <laughs> great things, but uh, we'll see how we do. Um, you see, there I had AP loaded. Yeah, the last time I uh, I played this, I did get quite up close and personal uh, with a few boats, which yeah. It's um, it's not bad AP. You know, you can get penetrations on cruisers. Bit of a waste of time trying to do it on a battleship, obviously, but uh, we'll see. So, I'll, I'm going to try and tuck myself in behind this rock here, if I can. Um, just to give me a little bit of protection. And I should be able to get the cap if I uh, there we go right the enemies have got C and we're taking A and we do have this chappy over here in the Bith Mark um, let's try and stay within the uh, the thing if we can. Yep, there we go. Yeah, we've got a couple of hits on the Bismarck and we're not spotted because uh, they're all too far away at the moment. We've got that York there. Might be able to stealth fire on him. Yeah, just about. So, with this particular boat, it's similar to, uh, you know, most 
torpy destroyers where you want to try and remain stealthy if you can so we'll put it on full lock we've got the cat which is a good thing we have this Fabuki over here uh, we'll keep an eye on him but I have a feeling that uh, we should be able to get around here now we've got that Bismarck but he's sailing away so torps aren't going to be any good uh, what we do have is guns and the Fabuki is not the most clever ship in the world for uh, guns now that York is coming round here so ideally I want to be able to uh, get my torps away on him but at the moment he looks like he's he's coming into a turn but he is going to be this side of the island so let's put some torps in the water should have plenty of uh, room before Mr. Turpitz gets there uh, and we might be able to just sneakily pick up possibly no it doesn't look like it I thought we might have just been able to pick up a, a nice cheeky flag defence there or flag take uh, but not quite in time okay so we've got the York and he, he's at a good range but uh, he will see me if I fire so where's his guns pointing they're over there aren't they so there's our torps are we going to be oh no he's just a little bit too far so let's let's do the old gunboat thing oh, you see he slowed right down there so what we'll try and do is we'll try and get a fire on him if we can uh, I'm not too hopeful because it is only a small fire chance but we are getting we are getting points we are getting damage you see the guns aren't what you would call rapid firing oh hello we're taking hits so let's smoke up so they can't see us right and we shouldn't be oh good grief so we shouldn't be we are still being seen but uh, yeah we're stealth up again now so that's okay so we'll repair and we'll uh, start moving away so yeah you do have to um, treat this ship relatively gently um, you know you don't have a huge mountain of health and maybe I should have been a bit more aware about where those guys were but you know live and learn okay right We've got the Takao over there, which uh, is a boat you have to uh, win. Uh, I forget what it is now, but uh, yeah, you've got to do tier 8 and above matches, I think, and get 50 wins, something like that. So it's, it's a difficult boat to get. So if somebody's got it, chances are they're going to be relatively good. So let's see if we can um, let's see if we can get round on this guy. Might be able to get some sneaky torps into him. You never know. Stranger things have happened. And they're all pushing this way, so. Uh, that battleship there, the Carolina. He's getting relatively close, 8.8. .8. The Takao is there at 8 kilometers now. So, let's put some torps down and then sail away. Got to watch uh, that Takao because don't want him to get too close. 
but I do want my tops to uh, go and say hello to him. Now he's turning. He is turning. Now it could be that he slowed right down there. Yeah, because my tops are. Uh, my tops are not going to do the job there, are they? We do have a destroyer there though. That would be hilarious. Oh, what a shame. Didn't quite get him. Well, that Farragut is there. Uh, we've got the North Carolina, which is just coming straight at us, basically. Uh, he, is, he is turning. So, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to slow down and we are going to smoke up and we should be within the smoke oh smoke's not ready oh no random what are you doing the smoke's not ready let's see if he if he moves or not. He might, he might not. Uh, oh! I was kind of hoping I would stealth back up there, but uh, apparently not. Solved, okay, right, so, uh, hmm. We need to. Uh, we've got the smoke coming back online now. So, let's. Let's do the old smoky jokey. The old smoky Joe. There we go. Alright. And we'll see if we can reset the cap on this. Can but hope. Yeah. And we've got a nice hit on him. We did get a decent hit on him. Yeah, if we can keep doing that, we can keep resetting the cat, and then they won't get the uh, the cat points. Although you do have to actually hit them, random. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll just keep taking his cat points, and obviously those ribbons. Every time you get one of those ribbons, that's a good thing. It's more XPs in the bank, and uh, you know, oh, yeah. I was going to say, we, we do have the chance of getting a fire, uh, and lo and behold. Uh, we've got another one going into the cap there, so... Uh, another fire. Looks like he's used his repair though, so uh, we're waiting really for that to to stop and it looked like we might possibly be able to get torps away might have to uh, reverse slightly because we are now out of smoke so I need to get a move on so we'll whack some torps in the water there nope we're detected time to YOLO and get round the side of this island and that will be the Nisenhow that has spotted us uh, hopefully as soon as we get him out of line of sight we'll uh, yeah we're now not detected again so that's fine we might be lucky and get that uh, battleship with the tops you never know stranger things and all that that to cow is over there So, uh, yeah, unfortunately they've taken B. But uh, we do have, looks like, a destroyer taking C, which is nice. I uh, haven't done a huge amount of damage as yet. Uh, we've picked up eight flag defences, though, which uh, is always going to be a nice little, little bundle. The enemy have started taking A. Oh, good grief. Who is it? Oh, it's that Nisenhow. Uh, 
let's put some torps in the water then for him and we'll turn away because he's currently behind that rock so if we turn away he shouldn't see us no and we're outside of detection now so so that's a good thing uh, it'd be a great thing if we can get some hits on him we're out of smoke charges because I haven't yet Unlock superintendent on this. Are we gonna? Are we going? Are we? Are we? Are we? Oh, bugger. Never mind. Let's, uh. Let's put the throttle down. And we'll see if we can. Just pick up some, uh. Some free damage here. Obviously, you need to be aware of everything else. Keep moving and shaking. Hey, got a fire. That's what we were hoping for. He's put it out, so he's used his damage control. So we want another fire if we can get it. Down. Right, good. Okay, so we have two caps at the moment compared to their one, uh, and they are outside of B at the moment. I'm not spotted at the moment because everyone's just outside of detection, uh, so that's cool. So let's see if we can uh, go and pick up another flag, shall we? So that Farragut has taken A. Is a bit of a shame. Uh, North Carolina's there. He's in range, but uh, I don't really want to shoot at him at the moment if I can help it. And it looks like we've got the Fubuki going back in to take B. So we could. We haven't got any smoke though. We could take a shot at him. He's got 20,000 damage, or 20,000 health left. Let's be a bit more aggressive, uh, and let's see if we can No, I don't want to shoot them there because matey is coming that way um, It's to cow Oh He's down, he's gone. Looks like the Miyoko may have taken a hit or two. I've got a minute before the torps are back up, which uh, is a bit of a shame. So, let's see. Let's see what we can do here, shall we? Miyoko, decent ship. But it can be a bit delicate, so let's try some AP, shall we? Watch those guns and see if they come round. Well, we're getting... I was going to say we're getting reasonable damage, but... Uh, not great. Uh, 15 seconds left on the torps. So we'll try some HE on him. And we're behind the island now, so we should be safe. And he's going to come round that corner. He is going to come round that corner, because he's going to want to chase me. So, if he plays destroyers at all, he should be expecting what is about to happen. Which is lots of torpedoes coming straight at him. Um, whether or not they hit him, separate object, but oh, separate matter. Uh, let's see if we can fire over this land here. 
Doesn't look like it. Okay. How far out are you? You're eight. Now, got to be expecting torpedoes coming this way. And we just lost the Prince Eugen. So. Okay, I'm detected. That will be uh, matey boy there. He needs a Farragut. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. Keep turning, keep burning. Oh, torpedo beats going on there. And we've got torps coming in, but that's fine. Ah, uh, and I got hit by a shell. Never mind. So, uh, yeah, even on a loss there, uh, you know, 1,271 XP, which ain't bad, really. Uh, 124,463 credits. And we did 27,469 damage. 83 shell hits. I mean... <laughs> You know, you, you do have to play this like the Russians, like the Americans. You do have to play it as a bit of a gunboat. Uh, you see the Fabuki there did really well. I'm going to uh, send him a, a compliment for that. Um, yeah, we did okay. Let's have a look at the uh, detailed report here. Uh, damage caused 15,145 uh, with the guns. So 9,902 with HE, 5,244 three with armor piercing got 10,712 uh, damage with the torp hit and uh, yeah it got a little bit of fire damage but not a huge amount uh, yeah it's it's pretty good pretty good credits and XP let's have a look here because you've got the uh, the type 11 camouflage because it is a, a premium ship um, yeah so that just adds 50%. So it wasn't bad. I mean, we cleared 89,000 credits after the repairs. Um, what what did we think? What do we think? Um, I, like I say, I'm a little bit mixed about this particular boat. Um, I don't think that it should be tier 6. I really don't. I think it should be a tier 5. And I think they could balance it by knocking the torpedo range down by maybe half a kilometer, maybe a kilometer, or you know, give it 7.25 torps instead of eight kilometers or something. So you just for 250 meters um, in stealth. But yeah, I think it, if you're gonna base it on the Nevni, you need to give it the same kind of characteristics um, and make it a gunboat rather than try and do this kind of hybrid thing that it's got but uh, it's all in all it's not a bad boat it's quite fun to play um, you know I enjoy it it's not particularly expensive either so you know, if you're looking for a, a sort of fun credit maker then you could do a lot worse um, yeah that's the Anshan the other Pan-Asian boat to the Luoyang so anyway, that's enough from me, so uh, if you like the video, you know what to do. Uh, if you've got anything you want to tell me, the comment section's there. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, and uh, why not give the subscribe button a tap. But for now, it's Captain Random signing off. So take care, and I will see you again in the next one.